Thank you for stopping and taking a look at our videos. My name is Matt Haney. I'm one of the founders of Harvest Rain. We're a full service rainwater collection company and we focus on design, installation, and service of rainwater collection systems. So we're down here next to the tank foundations because I want to point out a few important things that people often overlook when they're considering doing a rainwater collection system during the planning phases. So these rainwater tanks are built on a, uh, a foundation of concrete as well as we've got some large scale rock here to prevent the surface flow water erosion from eroding out our concrete foundation. These two water tanks here are, uh, have a combination of a solid concrete foundation ring beam. It's actually a beam around the exterior of the tank and inside the middle we do machine sand to allow for additional drainage. The concrete ring beams we like often because it gives us the best of both worlds. We've got a concrete exterior structure to anchor the tank to and machine sand on the inside for condensation. As the condensation builds up on the tank, the water falls into the machine sand and then soaks and, and filters through. So Harvest Train built this big retaining wall so that we can keep the earth above the tank from sliding down into the base of the tank. Foundations and retaining walls are very important with drainage. Surface flow drainage, which is water falling on the ground, and then following grade can cause some real concerns with water tanks. We always err on the side of caution, encourage our customers that if they do need a retaining wall to take that action sooner rather than later. We don't want to put these beautiful tanks up, get all of your water stored in it just to have the water on the ground erode the tank foundation out. 